In today's video, I'm going to be answering the top 5 most asked questions about the Strike Pack FPS Dominator by Collect the Minds. I'm going to be giving you some troubleshooting tips and tricks. And stay tuned to the end of the video where I answer a very, very controversial question and shed some light on the myth. Welcome everyone. For those of you who are new, what's up everyone? My name is Frank. Hope you're having a great day today. Over the past few years, I have become the go-to person for everything Strike Pack related. So here we are for a very informational video where I'll be answering the top five most asked questions about the Strike Pack. And yes, as I mentioned before, towards the end of the video, I will be answering a very controversial question and I'll be shedding some light on a myth. Just to give you guys a heads up, I do stream every Saturday and Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And yes, I will be leaving timestamps down below in the description, so you all can skip to whichever part of the video that you want to see first. Getting to question number one, I literally get bombarded with this question uh, every single day. And it always goes along the lines of, Frank, help, my stripe back doesn't connect to my console, it just doesn't work. Well... I'm going to assume that you guys are following the proper setup procedures. Now with that in mind for a troubleshooting tip and trick, make sure the USB end that goes into the stripe pack is fully pressed in and literally pressed it in all the way. Uh, most often than not, actually, you guys aren't fully pressing it in. So make sure it clicks in. Go ahead, reconnect and follow those set of procedures. And I can guarantee you that it will connect your console and you'll be able to use the paddles and the mods um, and you'll be happy and having fun gaming. Now, if you guys are doing that and it still doesn't work, well, you could try changing the USB cable of the stripe back. Sometimes uh, it can be faulty. Uh, if you go ahead and you change the USB cable, still doesn't work. Well, then chances are the actual USB port of the stripe back is faulty is broken uh, in any of those two cases you can exchange a stripe back back in stores for a new one or you could contact collect the mind support team stripe back is under warranty uh, so you should have no trouble with that for those of you uh, who go ahead and break the usb cable like a year two years down the line well if you have an extra usb cable at home you can use that or if you want an original cable collect the mines does sell the uh, USB stripe pack cables on their old website. Question number two, am I able to use a, a Bluetooth wireless headset and where do I connect my wired headset? To answer the first part, it's actually very easy. Yeah, you are able to use a wireless Bluetooth headset, simply connect your strike pack first and then go ahead and pair your wireless Bluetooth headset as you normally do. As simple and easy as that, actually. Getting to part number two of that question. For those of you who freak out, yes, the Stripe Act does block the headphone port on the PlayStation 4 controller. But not to worry, because the Stripe Act has its own built-in 3.5 millimeter headphone port, which you're going to take your headset cable and connect it directly into that headphone port on the Stripe Act. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, all headsets that do currently work with the PlayStation 4 controller will also work with the Strike Pack. Now getting to some troubleshooting tips and tricks. There have been some cases where headsets just don't work or they're only broadcasting the game sound, game volume, but they're not broadcasting the mic volume of the headset. In, uh, in any of those cases, please try changing the 3.5 millimeter headphone wire if you can uh, see if that resolves the issue uh, if it doesn't try using another headset just to see if if that is the the issue um, you can also try another strap back just to see if you get it to work if it does work then we know that the headphone port of the strap back is faulty in that case just exchange it for another one or you could go ahead and contact collect the mind support team since the strap back is under warranty. Question number three. My computer is not detecting my strap back and I'm unable to update it. Well, there's a few key things to note first. You are able to update your strap back using a Mac computer with OS X Mountain Alliant or higher installed. And you are also able to use a PC with Windows 7 or Windows 10 installed. Make sure all computers are fully up to date. And when you are installing and updating the firmware, 
please make sure you detach the strap pack from your controller first and then plug it into your computer. Now, if it's not detecting, please try another USB port on your PC to try to get the computer to automatically download the drivers. If it's not, not a big deal. We're gonna have to manually download and install the drivers ourselves, which is actually pretty easy to do. Go on over to the modpass.ca website, go on over to the support section, you know, scroll all the way down to where you see Mod Central not detecting my strike pack. And you're gonna see a link, click here, and it's going to download the drivers for us. So go ahead, open that up, run as administrator. It's gonna do what it has to do. It's gonna download and install the drivers automatically. And once you have done so, we're gonna open up the updater tool. If you don't know how to do that, that's also pretty easy to do. Go on over to the collectiveminds.ca website. Go on the strike pack page of your console. Scroll down to the downloads tab and then you'll see the updater tool. So go ahead, click on that, download, install, run it. It's going to open up a window. It's going to say strike pack not detect or no device detected. And we are going to go ahead and connect only the strike pack into our computer. We've already downloaded the driver, so it's going to detect right away. Click on the new firmware, click update, follow the steps, and as simple and easy as that to get your computer to detect and to update your strike back. Now with that being said, that is gonna lead us into question number four. How do I get my mod pass game packs to work? Well, we're gonna jump into troubleshooting techniques because there are two steps that you guys just aren't doing. Step number one, you aren't properly saving the game packs to your strike back in mod central. And step number two, you guys are straight up aren't activating the game packs while in game. I have done a full detailed review on how to use the mod pass and mod central. That's linked down below in the description. It's gonna be a card that pops up right on top right now. So go ahead and watch that if you want a full in-depth review of the mod pass and mod central. But nonetheless, I am gonna be giving you a brief rundown right here, right now. Now with mod central opened up on your computer, you're gonna go ahead, reattach the strike back back onto your controller. And with both paddles being pressed, you're gonna connect the other end of the USB cable of the strike back directly into your computer. It's gonna detect, it's gonna synchronize, and we are gonna be able to apply the game packs right now. So go ahead and click on that top right tile. It's permitted you already have the mod pass bought. You'll have access to this section. Click on that, you're gonna see the F slot. The F slot is used for the free built-in mods that come with the strike pack. And those are activated when you put the strike pack into mod mode only. But since we wanna use the mod pass mods, we're gonna set up the eight game packs. So one to eight corresponds to LED number one to eight left to right on the strike pack. So we'll go ahead, brief example, um, LED number one, game pack number one, We'll set that up. We'll click on the gear icon. Once you do so, it'll give us another page, which we'll be able to apply the mods that we want for that game pack. And keep in mind, once you're done configuring the mods that you want, scroll all the way down, click save configuration. Once you have done so, exit that page and go all the way to the bottom and you're going to click on, and this is what you guys keep forgetting, click on save slots to device that is going to update and bring the game packs they just set up and save it onto your strike pack and once you have done so we can connect back to our console now with us being connected back to the console we are going to switch the strike pack into mod mode press and hold the left select button then press the right one release collect the mines logo change from white to blue which signifies that we are in mod mode which is that F slot, the free built-in mods. But we want to activate our game pack from the mod pass and we set up LED number one, game pack number one. So in order to activate that, we're gonna press and hold the left select button on the strike pack and press the right paddle or the left paddle to cycle through the different LEDs, different game packs, one to eight that you set up. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna highlight LED number one, game pack number one. We're gonna release LED one stays on and collect the mines logo alternates colors, white to blue, white to blue constantly. That signifies that our game pack 
that we put in slot number one, LED number one, is now active. And those are the two steps that you guys keep forgetting. Coming to the last question, number five, or last but not least, am I able to use the strat pack for PC gaming? To keep things simple, no, you are not able to use the strat pack for PC gaming. It is a console only device. Now I know, for those of you who are about to comment right now, well Frank, technically you're able to use the Xbox Strike Back on PC for PC gaming. Kind of, it, there, you kind of can get it to work. It's not a foolproof method, it doesn't always work. So to keep things simple, no, you are not able to use the Strike Back for PC gaming. It is a console only device. Now that is going to wrap up our top five most asked questions about the stripe back and no i did not forget about that myth that controversial question and we are going to be getting into that right now those questions are part number one am i able to use a stripe back for competitive play part number two will i get banned for using mods and part number three you're using a stripe back you're straight up hacking so let's uh, debunk uh, these myths and these controversial questions came to part number one. Yes, you are able to use a straight pack for competitive play. I've used it in competition myself. The straight pack will default always to competition mode, which only allow you to use the paddles. And let's face it, all pro players are using paddle controllers. All the major league gaming competitions are sponsored by Scuff Controller which is a company that makes paddled controllers. So you guys are safe to use the Stripe Pack paddles only in competition. Part number two for the controversial questions. Can I get banned for using the mods? In short, there's always a possibility of getting banned when using mods. It does go against the terms of use of these gaming companies. But no one has ever been banned for using the Stripe Pack. For the most part, you guys will be good. They are extremely difficult to detect. People would have to report you a lot of times in order for you to be under investigation, actually. But uh, have fun gaming, but please keep it in the back of your mind. If you are going to be using mods, there is always a possibility of getting banned. Getting to that mythical question that the Stripe Act is hacking. Well, from my understanding, hacking is altering coding or altering source coding of a game or a website. The Stripe Pack doesn't have the ability to do that. The Stripe Pack is not hacking. What the Stripe Pack is actually doing, just adding more user input on the controller. So for example, with the rapid fire mod, which changes semi-automatic weapons or single fire weapons into full auto ones, instead of you manually firing the trigger as quickly as you can, what the Stripe Pack rapid fire mod is doing is you're pressing and holding the fire button and the strap pack itself is manually doing that for you as quickly as it can to simulate the weapon is rapid firing. Likewise for anti-recoil, for example, instead of you compensating for recoil by putting input vertical or horizontal input on the controller, the strap pack itself is adding that input on the right thumbstick to correct for anti-recoil. So in short, the strap pack is not hacking it is just adding more user input on the controller. So that has been debunked. That is going to wrap things up for today's top five video. If you have any questions about what we spoke about in today's video, leave a comment down below. If you want to suggest future top five topics regarding the strike back, and maybe want to make more strike back videos on certain subjects, certain topics, please leave a comment down below in the description. You guys are wicked awesome. If you all enjoyed watching this video, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and share with your friends. Greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel, check me out for the very first time. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my content. And don't forget to press that bell to become part of my notification squad. You guys are champions. Down below or to the side or maybe up top, you'll see links to two of my other Strike Pack tutorial videos. Go ahead and give that a watch. Everyone have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this video and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.